right, well, here we are in beautiful, sunny Astoria, New York City. What a beautiful, lovely day. We're going to now study three idioms with the use of play. Now, play actually has many uses, and we'll do a few more after this. But for now, let's start with to play cat and mouse. Playing cat and mouse means being evasive or coy. Evasive means not sharing all of the information, not telling the entire truth, telling a shade of truth, or not even really sharing anything, or maybe even almost lying. Coy is being shy, excuse me, sly, not shy, excuse me, being sly. Uh, it's very similar to evasive. So when we're playing cat and mouse, typical example would be mom and dad to the little child so, uh, Sonny, what did you do? The door is broke. Oh, well, and they don't give the real story. Okay, parents to children, very common. Boss to worker, boyfriend to girlfriend, romantic relationship, not sharing the full truth. Next use, fo footsies. Playing footsies with someone is a sexual or romantic activity, and it's done under the table. Okay, so think of a meeting, and you have a conference table, and you have a bunch of people, and the two people next to each other, they have a very serious face because it's a meeting. But meanwhile, under the table, they're going, you know, playing with each other's feet. You can't see my feet, but their feet are touching each other, and probably they're not making faces. They might be, but um, anyway, most of the people around wouldn't know. We'd say they're playing footsies. Last use is hardball. Uh, the boss, for example, could say, we're going to play hardball with that company. It does not mean baseball. It does not mean the opposite of softball. That's the ordinary use. The use as an idiom for play, hardball, is to be tough or aggressive. Cat and mouse, coy and evasive. Footsies is a sexual or romantic activity. And hardball is aggressive. All right, we'll do a few more uh, as soon as I erase this and we start again.